A little while back I told you I'd uh, make a tutorial on how to make a road overlay for ETS2 and ATS. Like the little road names you see on the map, like M21, M5, E54, all that kind of stuff. That's what we're going to do today. Sorry, I found, uh, sound a bit stuffed up. Hay fever is kicking my ass. Uh, you will need TOBJ Edit or a texture object making program and your game files extracted. So first off, we're going to do it for ATS this time. Open up the uh, extracted files, it should look like this. You won't have a reformer in there, I don't know why that ended up in there. And you will now need to make a new folder on the desktop called Material. Drag these out side by side. In your extracted files, go to Material, UI, Map and Road. In the folder we created, we're going to follow the same folder structure. So in material, make a folder called UI. In UI, make a folder called map. And lastly, in map, we're going to make another folder called road. So you see here we've got az64 and az.map. We're going to copy these two over and paste them. Now it's very important you keep road underscore. It's the part after road underscore, which is the name it takes into account. For example, let's rename this map file. We're going to call it my icon. You can call it whatever you want. Don't go longer than 12 characters. You have to keep road underscore in the file name. So we can open this up. Get to that one in a minute. And again, road underscore my icon. Now open up the texture. 64 by 64 pixels. Zoom in a little bit. And we are going to erase what's on it and make our own. If you do text, don't make it too small and don't put too much text in because otherwise it's going to be pretty hard to see. Let's just do a nice blue background. Uh, let's just do M25 for the sake of it, preferably not in white. Make it bold so it's a little bit bigger. Do for now. File save as. Oops. Road underscore my icon. And make the file type a DDS. Save. And flatten and delete the original. So what you should have now is road underscore my icon dot dds and road underscore my icon dot map with this texture line filled out correctly. What we're going to do now is make the tobj file itself. I am going to use tobj edit. You can use any program you want. I'm just familiar with this one. So what you need to put in this path here. Copy it all the way back to forward slash material, all the way up to the end of road. And then forward slash my oops, road underscore my icon dot DDS. So you've got the path and the file name, file type, etc. File, save as. Going to navigate material, UI, map and road. Call it road underscore my icon. Save as type is going to be TOBJ. Save that and it will be created here. Material UI map road and road underscore my icon dot DDS. So that's part one done. Navigate back to the root folder in the extracted files. And your desktop, make another folder. I'm going to call it def. Inside def, we can make another folder and call it world. Go for the same folders in the extracted files. And we're going to look for an SII called overlay. Copy this and paste it. 
you will see a list of city names, road names, etc. This part here is what is after road underscore. So here will be my icon. We're going to copy this and delete everything above these two brackets, all the way up to the top and under this first bracket, and then paste. And rename this road name in the quotation marks to my icon. Don't call it road underscore. Because as I said, it's road underscore and then what it's called. Should look like this. I will copy and paste this into the video so you can edit it yourself. Save you having to do it on your end. One thing I think you have to do, I'm not too sure is make this overlay unique. So for example, test.sii. I think, I know normally you have to rename SII files if they're um, unique so they don't overwrite the base game stuff. That is all done now. We've got the material UI map road underscore files. I'm gonna highlight these two. Right click, make an archive, call it whatever you like. Click on zip. You can either rename it zip or make it SES either way. Click on OK or make a new file. Go into the mod folder, make sure it's blank. If it's not blank, you're going to load up every single mod in the editor. So place that inside and load up the editor. I forgot to launch Steam first, which would have helped. Wish you wouldn't do that. Right, F5 to bring up the U, uh, UI map on the right here. Make sure the road is selected. Just draw a road. It shows up on the map. Now in the item type drop down, we're going to choose map overlay. Press E, click anywhere on the road and you'll see this green arrow. Press P, enter properties. And you'll get a road name drop down. I'm going to scroll down and look for my icon. 